Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm looking crazy right now, but give me a second. By the title of the video, this is gonna be a little eyeliner tutorial. I did this look right here a while ago and you guys were like, you know, hyping me up with my eyeliner game, which is trash. But I was like, let me see if I can try and do a tutorial for you guys. So I went ahead and did two different eyeliner looks, not because I messed up the first one, don't. Nope, no I didn't, nope. And um, yeah, two totally different looks. I think it was a little fun idea to do a little something, something. Um, two different looks, the same palette. So if you want to recreate, I got you. And um, yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. But before I let you go, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a big old thumbs up. It's free, gratis, and 0% interest as always. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, what's up, little lasagnas? We out here, we in here. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all how I did this little wing. Um, for this wing in particular, I'm using the NYX uh, Matte Liquid Liner. You can get this from Ulta, Target. Um, awesome, amazing liner, one of my favorites. And um, yeah, since it's like a little brush and you have to dip it in every now and then, I like to pick up a small amount and just draw out this little line, starting from my most outer corner going straight up ending where my brow tail is and then I like to go back where the line ends and connect it to my lid and we're gonna have that nice little triangle and you're gonna slowly fill it in like so so you definitely want to take your time um, I like to hold my breath when I do these lines for some reason it gives me a little more stability because nothing's worse than that exactly yep you see I fucked up because I'm a dumbass but nothing's worse than a fucked up liner when things are going well but moving on, we're gonna go to the inner corner and we're gonna make a line right through my lid and we're gonna connect it to the wing. So just very carefully, just go for it. I got a little smudgy bump right there, but that's totally fine because I like to, from like halfway to the outer corner of the lid, I like to make the line progressively get thicker and then the most inner part is the most thinnest and it just gives you like a nice little how do we say cohesive winged liner if that makes any sense you'll see when we're done um even in the example photo it's just it's just it's a look it's a fucking look so right here i'm just building upon this line getting it a little thicker chi double c and then i'm gonna keep it real thin in the front i just want to build that up slowly make it all nice and smooth so by now, this is looking a little tragic, but we're gonna make it work. I'm definitely gonna keep this in. I don't wanna edit out any mistakes because I am definitely wanna do this again in the future so we can look at our growth. We're gonna grow together, we're gonna do this together, and we're gonna be bond as fuck together. So, you know, I'm human, bitch, I fuck up. And that's why I wanted like to post this video anyway. This video is late as hell. But again, you know, you gotta start somewhere and I just wanna keep it real with you guys. It's a little tricky at first, but you're gonna get it, trust me. So at this point, I'm just double checking in the monitor, making sure when I look straight ahead, you can see the line, cause I do have hooded eyes. So it does tend to like distort in a sense, but um, as long as I look straight through and it looks sickening, I'm proud of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in any little empty spots and keep it the fuck moving. So this is a quick little tip from me to you. I don't know if it's useful, but um, I like to make sure there's like a nice present black line in my most inner corner. It helps when I apply lashes, everything looks cohesive and connected. So it's not just like your lash and then the lash ends and there's like a blank space. Taylor Swift, ew. And then, um, yeah, it just looks nice, cute, and all together and the look looks much cleaner. So at this point, I'm hella over it. And we're just gonna go and move on to the next eye. Peace. All right, so personally, I feel like this look is way easier because it's a little more dramatic, so it doesn't have to be too precise. But we're gonna start off like the other eye and we're gonna draw the line out from the outer corner to the brow tail. And then from here, we're gonna connect it straight to the inner corner. So the trick with this look in particular, it's a little more um, quote unquote drag inspired. Any drag queens, please don't drag me. But um, when you're gonna line it and connect it to your inner corner, you wanna make sure the line is like curved up so it goes against your naturally rounded lids. So when you look straight ahead, it's a straight line. And you'll like get it, like when you look in the mirror, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like you wanna fight the curve of your natural lid to make the black line look straight. It's like an illusion, but like once you pull that off, this shit is so dope, y'all, and it's so much fun to do. So please practice, cause it's really cool. And if you do it, please let me know. 
so like right here thankfully i got it on camera i'm looking straight up and looking at the mirror and you see how straight that line is but normally my lid is rounded so it shouldn't look like that but it, it's like an illusion like it looks straight but when i turn my head it's curved and i'm out of frame we love that i guess i haven't learned a thing but yes you want to make it look straight but you know you got to make it work for your eye shape so it takes a little trial and error but I'm sure you guys can do it. And all right, so this is gonna conclude this video. It was a struggle bus, but we made it. We look cute, right? If you learned something, sound off below. If you wanna drag me, sound off below. That's totally fine too. Um, if you recreate any of these wings or looks in particular, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. My socials will be right here. I look forward to it. And uh, yeah, let me not keep you. Again, please subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw and would like to see more. I hope to have you back. And uh, until next time, I love ya. Bye.